Welcome to the Recirculating Aquaculture Systems Tutorials. I'm Dr. Sarah Barento and this tutorial is going to be about fire biofiltration. In the previous uh, tutorials, we have been uh, discussing the different components of, uh, of uh, recirculating aquaculture systems. Uh, today, we're going to be focusing on the biofilter and the oxidation of ammonia. So the first thing you need to, to understand is that the fish uh, excretes to the water a mixture of ammonia in the molecular form and ammonium in the cation form. The combination of the, these two uh, is the total ammonia as nitrogen, uh, what is also called TAN. So ammonia, the molecular form, constitutes the main part of the excretion, but uh, this depends on the pH. Actually, as the pH increases, this ammonia molecular form increases and the ammonium in cation form decreases. What you really want to achieve is uh, you need to have uh, clear in mind that levels as low as 0.02 milligrams per liter can become toxic to fish. This will depend on the species, but as a rule of thumb, you want to keep these values below this amount. So what is the biofilter? In the end, the biofilter is just a surface uh, where you're going to have bacteria that will be doing uh, the natural nitrogen cycle. So where ammonia is being oxidized by this group of chematotrophic bacteria, basically chemical eaters. And uh, as you know, fish will be feeding, they will be excreting fecal matter, and then it and feed will also be uh, accumulating in the system. And most of what they're going to excrete is going to be ammonia in this molecular form. Then you will need to have in your system uh, the surface that will facilitate the growth of this strain of bacteria, Nitrosomonas, so that they can actually use the ammonia and add a molecule of oxygen, oxidize the ammonia, and create this nitrate molecule. And then you're going to have another strain of bacteria, the nitrobacter, which again, what they do is they're going to add oxygen to nitrates and convert them into nitrates, which are way less toxic. For the biofilter in this bacteria to operate at their best, uh, the pH should be a minimum of 7. If the nitrates increase uh, to above a certain level, which you'll see in a minute, what you need to do is just remove it by uh, you know, doing water exchanges. So uh, ammonia, as I mentioned, it's toxic. It needs to be kept really low, so as low as 0.0.1 milligrams per liter. And then the nitrates, as you can clearly see, is less toxic, but still needs to be kept low, below 2.5 milligrams per liter. And then nitrates, way less toxic. You know, they can, you can, it can be a bit more relaxed because they can be lower than 200 milligrams per liter. One thing that is very important is that, uh, remember, the total ammonia is nitrogen is a combination of the sum of ammonia in the molecular form and ammonium, the cation, and the percentage of the molecular form present is dependent on both temperature and pH and increases with both temperature and pH. So if you look at here, if you have a pH below 7, actually you have almost no toxic component to this 10. Uh, you have a minimal amount, uh, 0. But we also mentioned that for the biofilter to operate, it needs to be at a minimum pH 7. So you have two counter forces happening, uh, and, um, and you can also clearly see here as the pH uh, increases, the less toxic component of ammonia, it actually um, decreases because the more toxic molecular format is increasing with the pH. So um, this graph tells you what is the maximum concentration of the total ammonia as nitrogen so that you can make sure that your level of ammonia, the molecular form NH3, is below this 0.02 milligrams per liter. Uh, and as you can see, as the pH increases, you really need to pay attention because the 10 needs to be way low. So, and the opposite is a lower pH. If you go to this left-hand side, uh, it actually minimizes the risk of exceeding the toxic ammonia you can have now. If you have a lower pH, you can actually afford to have a higher total ammonia as nitrogen because then you have a more, a greater proportion of the cation, which is not toxic. Uh, but again, Remember that you need to have a pH minimum of 7 so that your bacteria can actually uh, oxidize the molecular form of ammonia. What we see in this graph is when you just start a biofilter. So when you just add your fish to the system, and let me just remind you about the cycle. So you have ammonia that's going to be oxidized to nitrates by nitrosomonas, and then these nit nitrates are going to be oxidized by nitrobacter to get nitrates. 
So here you have ammonia. In the beginning, uh, at the beginning of the start of your biofilter, of course, you have your fish starting to excrete. So this is the very beginning of your system. And ammonia is going to build up. Okay. As soon as you have the ammonia going to build up, you're going to have the opportunity, you're going to give the opportunity for the nitrous ammonia to start working on that ammonia, adding oxygen and starting uh, producing nitrate, the NO2 here. And then when you have this, this uh, molecule, you can actually then have, because you can see it grows the, the nitrobacter, are now acting upon this uh, nitrate and producing nitrates. And actually, this, now you can have the system, it's a bit more balanced here. This is exactly what you want. You want to decrease the amount of ammonia, and it has really gone really low. You can have a bit of, of nitrates as a consequence, but and then you have nitrates at a greater amount. So uh, this is, uh, and this is the time, it's not the time it takes for this bacteria to start uh, a, to start activating and being in the system and doing uh, their process of adding oxygen to the ammonia. So you can have the surface is fundamental uh, for your um, bacteria and you can have different type of surfaces to uh, improve the uh, settlement of this bacteria. You can have this type of uh, what I call bioballs, they are plastic uh, discs, let's say 3D discs, that they have many grooves to uh, increase the surface to area volume. Of course, then you need to have some source of air. So remember, these bacteria they're going to add oxygen. They need oxygen to be able to oxidize ammonia. You can also have a different type of biofilter, which is you know a fixed bed biofilter, uh, where you this is this is moving usually. This is not moving. You, again, you have a water inlet, and then you have water going through. And of course, you need to have the air. Uh, also, the oxygen is, is fundamental to this equation. So this is the, the video on biofiltration. I hope it was useful. Um, if you are interested in RAS systems, uh, there are two other videos and there will be more uh, that will focus on the remaining components of RAS systems.